Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales, and in today's video I'll show you how to register a domain name using Cloudflare, which is my favorite registrar or my favorite, my favorite company, and I'll explain a few things. So this video is really simple, how to register quickly, and then I'll give you a few benefits about the Cloudflare account, why, why I recommend it, uh, and we'll show you a little bit how to secure the account. So let's jump in really quickly. Let's go to So what you want to do is go to cloudflare.com and you want to register an account. You can sign up here. I already have an account. Once you confirm your account, you're going to basically go to domain registration, register domains. You're going to input the domain name. So for example, I'm going to buy one right here called OS2023 uh, and okay, I just made up a name. Okay, I'll check if it's available. If it is available, I can see right here, there's other suggestions, but this is the one I searched for. It is available, so I can purchase it, which is great. It's only $9.15, which is basically the cheapest big company that I've seen uh, for domain registration per year, right? You have to do it per year. Um, some of the other companies are cheaper for the first year, but their renewals are much more expensive. And I really like Cloudflare for them being a great company, uh, uh, innovating a lot, doing many things. And they also do things other than uh, domain registration, especially CDN, speed optimization, caching, and all these cool other things, which I use for a lot of other things. So let's proceed here. Let's click on purchase. I need to select how long I want to register for. Obviously, this is for ju just the video. We're not going to really use this too much, so I'm going to register one year. But I recommend if you have a business you're running, register for a long time and set up the auto renewal. Okay. Um, so below is basically you're going to have to specify all the information about your company and all the registrant information. These are things that some of them will be, this is the legal record, some of them will be public, some won't. Um, so you have to set up all your business information, etc. And then you have to go pay, right? So I'm going to go pay and we're going to go. So I'm going to click here, set up, I do want to set up auto renewals in my case, and then I can go ahead and, and proceed here. So I'm going to click either with a credit card or PayPal, but I already have a PayPal on file. Okay, so let's uh, wait till the registration happens. And then what we're going to do, we're going to look at it uh, a little bit more. So once it's confirmed, now you have uh, an account, you have a domain name, it's confirmed right here, and you have all the information. So now what I can do, I can go, it's confirmed, I can go to my site, I have a few sites here, but obviously, uh, the one I just purchased is right here. So I'm going to click here and it says, okay, Cloudflare is set up to protect your site. Now I have a domain name. I don't have any website, anything. Now this video is just for uh, only showing the domain registration, but very simply you have DNS on the left. So if you have a website, you, you have emails you want to receive, you have a website, you need to point your DNS, which is the domain names information to where to send emails to, which server to send emails, how to receive emails, how to get websites, uh, how to get a website that people can go, you know, to your website, etc. This is what we call DNS, right? It's domain name servers, which translates the domain name to certain IPs for different services. Email, um, other uh, email hosting are the two main things, and some other things uh, happening. So if I go here to records, I can actually go ahead and I can add my records. But depending on your website. Uh, your needs. If you have Shopify, you'll point to Shopify servers. If you have, uh, you need emails with Outlook, for example, or Google Apps or Google Workspace, you'll point it, but you'll get the instructions based on what you're using. Um, so you'll have to point this, and very simply, you can add a record and, and you can follow the instructions uh, here very simply. Um, so this is a, a topic for obviously for a different video, but depending on your case, you'll have the instructions. You have to put the DNS here. If you have questions, please let us know. Okay. Um, other than that, what is, what is really special about Cloudflare? Um, there's going to be two things that I want to talk about. So number one is Cloudflare also has a lot of other services that in addition to registering your domain name for uh, low cost, and it's a really good platform, it's a big business, and they always innovate. You also have other things. You have, if you host with them, if you use their, their uh, basically traffic proxy, which means uh, every all the data, all the information goes through their servers, means you can have free SSL certificate, you can have a firewall, you can have a, you can uh, cache things, make things faster, you can compress images, you can use all their CDN network and their firewalls and their tech for a lot of things, and you can do advanced things like workers, all these extra codes that sit in the cloud, etc. 
Um, so this is the, the second reason I like it because they have so many cool things that you can do to make the website more secure, faster, better. Uh, and you can you also have things like apps, uh, which they're slowly kind of getting more and more. So I really really like that, and we use it for a lot of different things. And uh, th that's kind of the the main thing, the main reason I like it, and the price is a secondary thing. So other than that, the only thing I want to mention, the, the last thing for this video is security of your account. So your domain name is everything. So if someone takes over your domain name, you don't have a website, you don't have emails, you don't have anything. Um, so what do you need to do? So number one, when you registered in the first step, make sure you have a unique password you never use. Use as many characters as you can. Do like 20 characters, 25 characters. Use letters, uppercase, lowercase special characters, numbers, make it long, don't reuse it. That's number one. Second one is you're going to go to the account here and you're going to add two-factor authentication right here. Two-factor. That means every time you log in, in addition to your very difficult email and password to guess, you uh, after you successfully put in your email and your password, you log in, it won't let you access it, this until you use your phone app to actually input another number that changes. I, I believe it's every 30 seconds. But please correct me if, uh, if you know the difference. But you can use a special app like Authy, like Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator. There's many different solutions. You can do it, manage, you select it, and then you do it, and it's extra uh, form verification. I uh, recommend to have it on all your accounts, no matter what it is, even if it's Facebook or Google. But obviously for domain name, you don't want someone to steal it. So uh, so make sure you set up two-factor authentication. That's it. So just an outro for this video. Hope you enjoyed this. If I went too fast, just ask questions. We're here to answer. Talk to you guys. Say hello. Share the video. Um, you know, subscribe, obviously. And if you have any questions, really, we, we're answering things. Anytime I get a comment, I'm trying to answer as fast as I can. Um, so really quick outro. Uh, Cloudflare is my favorite. Uh, I, the price is really good. The functionality is amazing. Um, don't forget to secure your account and let me know what you think in the comments. So let's do that. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe, like, share. Just say hi. We're here. We want to communicate with you guys. Uh, much appreciated. Thanks, guys.